Have you ever wondered about the largest turtles that ever lived? Well, allow me to introduce you to a prehistoric colossus that ruled the waterways, the Peltocephalus maturin. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill turtle. No, sir. This was a river giant, a titan of its time. Now, when we think of a large turtle today, the leatherback sea turtle might come to mind. It's the biggest of the bunch, reaching lengths of up to seven feet. But the Peltocephalus maturin, it dwarfed the leatherback with a shell that could stretch to 10 feet long. That's right, 10 feet. Imagine a shell so large you could use it as a raft. But what did this size mean for Peltocephalus maturin? Well, it wasn't just for show. The size of this ancient turtle offered certain advantages. For one, it helped fend off potential predators. When you're as big as a small boat, not many creatures dare to tangle with you. And of course, that size also meant it could reach food sources that were out of reach for smaller turtles. But the size isn't the only thing that made Peltocephalus mature in a river giant. Unlike many of its contemporaries, it ruled the rivers. While others may have been content with the calm of the sea, Peltocephalus maturin thrived in the dynamic environment of the rivers. The fast-flowing waters, the changing landscapes, the diverse array of potential meals, all these elements suited this giant just fine. The Peltocephalus maturin was a master of its domain, it was not only a participant in the ecosystem, but a dominant force shaping it. Whether it was through its eating habits, its interactions with other species, or simply through its sheer size, Peltocephalus maturin had a significant impact on its environment. So the Peltocephalus maturin was not just a big turtle, it was the king of its ecosystem. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. As we delve deeper into the life of this river giant, prepare to be amazed by the wonders of our planet's history and the incredible creatures that once called it home. Now that we've established the Peltocephalus maturin size, let's dive into its daily life. Imagine, if you will, a day in the life of the river giant. The sun rises, casting long shadows over the ancient waterways where our prehistoric friend resides. The Peltocephalus maturin begins its day with a leisurely swim, its massive shell cutting through the water with surprising grace. But what does a turtle of such gigantic proportions eat? Well, it's believed that like many of its modern relatives, the Peltocephalus maturin was likely an omnivore. This means it feasted on a varied menu, including aquatic plants, fish, and even smaller reptiles. Imagine the sight of this colossal creature, its powerful jaws crunching down on a meal. Now, you might be wondering, what about other species? How did they interact with this behemoth? Well, the Peltocephalus maturin, despite its size, was likely a gentle giant. Its sheer size would have deterred most predators, leaving it free to roam the waters in relative peace. It's also possible that, much like today's turtles, it was a solitary creature, preferring the company of the river currents to that of its fellow creatures. As for how it spent its days, we can only speculate. But given what we know about modern turtles, it's likely that the Peltocephalus maturin would have spent much of its time foraging for food and basking in the sun to regulate its body temperature. Yes, even the largest turtle needed a good sunbath. However, life wasn't all leisure for our river giant. The Peltocephalus maturin was also a traveler, likely undertaking long journeys to find suitable nesting grounds. Can you picture it? This enormous turtle heaving itself onto the riverbank, laboring under the weight of its own shell to lay its eggs. What a sight that must have been. Indeed, the lifestyle of this colossal turtle was as fascinating as its size. The Peltocephalus maturin didn't live in a vacuum. It was part of a vibrant prehistoric ecosystem. Let's take a moment to paint a picture of this prehistoric world, shall we? Imagine a time when the rainforests were young, the rivers ran wild, and the air was ripe with the fresh scent of primordial life. This was the world of Peltocephalus maturin, a time when giant creatures roamed the earth and the rivers teemed with life forms we can only dream of today. In this ancient ecosystem, the Peltocephalus maturin was a titan among turtles, a river giant that held a place of prominence in its habitat. It shared its home with an array of other species, from the small and swift to the large and lumbering, each playing its part in the grand tapestry of life. Among the co-inhabitants of this ecosystem were other prehistoric turtles, fish of all shapes and sizes, and perhaps even some early mammals. Despite this diversity, the Peltocephalus maturin held its own, its sheer size and strength making it a force to be reckoned with. But it wasn't just the physical attributes that set this giant apart. The Peltocephalus maturin had a unique lifestyle that allowed it to dominate the rivers. 
Unlike many of its contemporaries, it was well adapted to a life in the water, its massive shell providing both protection and buoyancy. This allowed it to navigate the river's currents with ease, feeding on a diet rich in aquatic plants and animals. Moreover, the Peltocephalus maturin played a vital role in shaping its ecosystem. As a large herbivore, it helped control the growth of vegetation, while its activities in the riverbed may have created habitats for other species. In this way, it contributed to the overall health and diversity of its environment. The ancient rivers were truly a different world, with the Peltocephalus maturin playing a major role in shaping its environment. In a time when the earth was teeming with life forms unlike anything we see today, this river giant was a key player, etching its place in the annals of prehistoric life. So what happened to the Peltocephalus maturin? Why did it disappear from our rivers? Let's dive into this mystery. As we know, all good things must come to an end, and unfortunately the reign of the Peltocephalus maturin was no exception. Despite its colossal size and river dominance, this gentle giant couldn't escape the inevitable fate that befalls all creatures eventually. Extinction. The exact reasons behind the extinction of the Peltocephalus maturin remain a puzzle. Some theories suggest that significant changes in its habitat might have been the culprit. As the climate shifted, the rivers that this turtle titan called home could have dried up or changed course, leaving it high and dry. Other theories propose that the advent of new predators or competition for resources could have put too much pressure on the Peltocephalus maturin, leading to its downfall. However, it's worth noting that extinction isn't always a sudden event. It can be a slow, gradual process that takes place over thousands of years. This could have been the case for our river giant. As the world around it evolved, the Peltocephalus maturin, with its enormous size and specialized lifestyle, might have found it increasingly difficult to adapt and survive. But all is not lost. Even in death, the Peltocephalus maturin has left an enduring legacy. Its fossils, preserved in the layers of the earth, offer us a window into a time long past. These ancient remains are like pieces of a prehistoric puzzle, helping us piece together the story of life on earth thousands of years ago. Studying the Peltocephalus maturin also teaches us about the fragility and resilience of life. It reminds us that even the mightiest creatures can fall, while also showcasing the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. So, while the Peltocephalus maturin may no longer roam our rivers, its spirit lives on in the fossil record, continuing to captivate and inspire us. Even in extinction, the Peltocephalus maturin continues to teach us valuable lessons about life on Earth. So, what have we learned about the Peltocephalus maturin today? Let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey we've taken together, stepping back in time to meet one of Earth's most remarkable inhabitants. We've discovered that the Peltocephalus maturin was far from your average turtle. With a shell that could double as a small boat, this colossal creature was one of the largest turtles to have ever graced the Earth. We've learned that size did matter in the world of prehistoric wildlife. The Peltocephalus maturin's enormous stature offered it a host of advantages. It could dominate its river habitats, standing out among its contemporaries as a true titan of the ancient waters. Our exploration didn't stop at this turtle's impressive size. We dove into its daily life, exploring what it ate, how it interacted with other species, and the role it played in its ecosystem. The Peltocephalus maturin was a gentle giant, living a life that was as fascinating as it was large. We also discussed the extinction of the Peltocephalus maturin and the legacy it left behind. Thousands of years later, this creature continues to captivate us, offering clues about prehistoric life and reshaping our understanding of the world's wildlife history. Through our journey, we've broken stereotypes, unraveled mysteries, and celebrated the wonders of the animal kingdom. As we've seen with the Peltocephalus maturin, nature's giants have a way of leaving an indelible mark on the world, echoing through time and stirring our imaginations. In the grand tapestry of life, the Peltocephalus maturin was a thread unlike any other a river giant that continues to fascinate us with its size, lifestyle, and legacy. Until next time, stay curious.